team. Welcome back. It's Tuesday, November 4th. It's my brother's birthday today, so shout out to you, Cassidy. Um, I just wanted to talk today a little bit about some of the goals and things I'm doing this month in my November challenge. Um, I might have touched on it on my yesterday's video, but so just so everybody knows, just so I can confirm to myself and remind myself and get you guys to keep me accountable to myself and what I'm looking to do, um, I just thought I would talk about it. So hold on a second here. <sighs> so for the month of November, there is, I don't know how many days left, but I kind of been easing into my physical program where I'm moving my body every day. Um, that is my goal, but I want to continue moving it uh, or pushing it further. Um, going into, or I guess ending last last month and then just kind of coming into this one, I, I do feel a lot better. Like I'm walking up and down stairs easier. And um, even though I can't feel anything with, because my MS is all flared up right now, um, I can definitely physically see that it, it, my health is definitely improving with this physical exercise. I'm really excited also because in my basement, I've started a gym that I might have mentioned. And yesterday I was able to clear out more space. So more space for me to work out, to um, have flavor time with my, with my two little ones, or just basically be... It's kind of like my my motivational growth physical workout gym. Yeah, it's great. So um, with that, I wanted to touch on. So I am reading a book this month. Um, my the book that I chose is um, "Wake Up Grateful" by Christy. I forget her last name. Christy, 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 Christy Nelson. Wake up grateful. And it's um, and I'm listening to it on Audible. the The premise of it is basically just to set yourself in a grateful mindset every day. And my challenge also is to write somebody uh, a note, just uh, expressing my gratitude for that person, and um, just thanking them for being in my life, sort of a thing. So every day, just being grateful to people in my life, being grateful for people um, that I interact with on a day-to-day -day basis, doesn't really matter. I just want to um, take action on that book. So it's really interesting to read a book every month, but I, I've started, um, last month I was reading The High Five Habit, which I still have a little bit left in, but that's okay. I can read two books at the same time. And the other one is uh, The Wake Up Grateful and High Five Habit. So if you haven't heard of The High Five Habit, I definitely recommend it. It's really, really cute. Mel Robbins is such an amazing little motivational speaker, author, mother, just everything. She's just really, really wonderful. And I admire her a lot. So I've definitely been um, diving into wanting to build myself up. Knowing that I am in a relapse, wanting to uh, get out of that relapse and in the most natural, holistic way that I can, which from my experience is doing physical exercise, carnivore, vitamins, water, <laughs> you know, the good things for you. The, um, let's see, the protocol that I am doing is the elimination protocol, which of the carnivore uh protocol if you want to call it that and um today I broke my fast at one o'clock today um which would have been from 7 p.m last night to 1 p.m today this afternoon and I had uh, two pieces of bacon with forks I cut it in half and a thing of like a pork steak I don't really like pork it's not really my favorite but um sometimes you just kind of have to 
subsidize your budget a little bit because as much as I'd like beef every day, I have to work up to it. I do want to be able to buy a cow eventually or half a cow and have that in my freezer and be able to just have that. I mean, I don't know. Anybody who has done carnivore probably would agree with me saying that they feel the best when they're eating beef. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but with that, um, I am on level two. So that's pretty much cutting out any dairy. I forgot the other day that shredded cheese is still cheese. <laughs> I don't know. I, really, I took some pork rinds and I fried them up in the frying pan after I cooked, um, I think it was bacon or steak or something. It was just nice and oily. So I just threw that in there to warm it up and I tossed it in a pan and I baked it a little bit with cheese and it was like basically carnivore nachos. So good. But then I, afterwards, I, I didn't even think about it. I'm like, well, poo. All right. Well, I guess we'll figure that out next time. So it's just trying to be more mindful of what I am doing, putting into my body, just something to keep note of. Um, now, um, for my working out, my physical exercising, um, let me see the, I won't keep these, make these videos too long, but ultimately I am going to be following, um, I subscribe to Beachbody On Demand, which, um, for those of you who don't know, it's just basically like streaming workouts, um, I have a coach, a beach body coach, and she's going to be following up with me um, and challenging me, pushing me a little bit further, um, figuring out which program I should be doing just um, based on like how my body is responding. So I think that's really, really great to have a personal coach in your life, um, especially if you're going after specific type goals, uh, at least keeps you on track. So overall like that's kind of like the gist of my 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 goal uh, waking up grateful working out every day eating um clean you know level two carnivore and trying to be as focused as that and yeah so if you guys have any questions just let me know in the comments and if you are interested in me doing a kind of like a, an accountability uh challenge with you guys who actually follow me um just let me know i was thinking about putting something on the line if i don't reach my goal then you know i would do like a draw and somebody would win something and then um that kind of would push me more to not give you guys anything i'm just kidding but seriously i just kind of wanted to have a little extra layer of motivation to hit my goals because they are pretty lofty and sometimes I get a little shook. So uh, let me know what you guys think and give me some ideas if you have any ideas. It might be monetary or something like that because I don't know. Everybody is not like my next door neighbor. So it's not like I can give you a pie. Um, anyways, I hope you guys are all doing fantastic and you guys uh, get ready for the, the weekend. Friday is almost here and I hope you have a lot of great plans and goals to crush, okay? Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.